And if you look at Letterboxd, IMDb, and other, other sites, it has this movie timed at 66 minutes. What? It's not. It's, it's longer than that. Uh, it was it's like an hour and 12 minutes, if you see a real version of it, which I got. And I couldn't, uh, I actually couldn't find a version of it anywhere but on a porn site where I screen captured <laughs> the entire thing where because I screen captured the entire thing, I needed to render it. So I thought, <laughs> as long as I'm rendering it, I might as well do a little editing too, which I did. And I'll confess, I put in some of the more egregious sound effects during the sex scenes. Oh, okay. But I also <laughs> cut out like a good 15 minutes of sex scenes in that film because they were boring as fuck. Like you didn't, there was no censorship for on moral grounds that it was too hardcore or anything like that. It, it stayed that kind of showed full nudity, but still softcore in so far as it didn't show actual penetration, things like that. It kept that throughout the entirety of the sex scenes, but these sex scenes would just drag on in more of the same of what you were already seeing. So at the point where it's the ending sex scene where she gets down and starts slurping on the guy and I put in the slurpy <laughs> sound effects and then they kind of get up and walk away. There was like a great deal of time expended on just them rolling around on the blankets outside for a while. I, I cut out, and I think, make it a better film for not having all that bullshit in it because it was tedious as it was. But I still thought it was a necessary film to see because uh, it was about a religious fanatic who goes around killing people who are engaged in sex. And that, I think, is the entire summary of the film. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. 